Hi, this is Martin from Revelation Software, and welcome to the next lesson in my series looking at getting started with Open Insight. Uh, my cold is still lingering around, so I apologise for the sound of my voice, although it sounds pretty awful anyway. Um, but in the last lesson, we were looking at the Forms Designer, and we spent quite a fair bit of time. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at adding a tab control. So this lesson should be quite a bit shorter. So open up your clinic application and then go into the forms designer and navigate to the patient entry form that we've been working on more recently. Now this form, um, when we ran it before, I'll just run it now. If you remember, people had to scroll down or use the scroll bar to move to the second page. Now if you've got two or three pages of information, that's going to get pretty difficult and not very user friendly. So if we come out of there, what we'll do is we'll select the tab control. Now the tab control is in the third row on the right hand side. Click the tab control and drag, and hold the mouse button and drop it onto your form. Um, it doesn't really matter how you've put it on the form because you can very easily use these drag controls to move it around to resize it accordingly. Now if we try and run the form, you will find that the tab don't actually work, as in that they don't go to the second page we still get our date of birth and our bitmap showing even though the tabs are actually moving so there is a little bit of extra work that we need to do to the tab control now I never remember what we need to do the code that we need to write to make this work but if we drop into the help system on the forms designer and we go to the search and in here if we just type tab control and list the topics and what we're looking for is the tab control properties dialog box. So double click on that to open up the help file. And you'll see here that we get all of the information about the tab control, information about the different properties and things that are on there. But what we're interested in is right at the bottom here is manipulating the tab control. So the tab control has four events, click, got focus, lost focus, and win message. And to manipulate the window via the tab control, we need to place the following code in the click event. So what we can do is we can just simply copy that code, go back to our form, select the tab control, go into the events, and on the click event, we need to click on the scripts button, which opens up the event handler. And if we do control V, or we could do edit and paste uh, from the menu we paste in that piece of code that we've just copied from the help file now what it's saying is first of all we need to declare a subroutine of set property we then set page so that it gets the property from the tab control and it's getting the value property which we're going to set in a moment and then it sets the property of the window to the vertical position so either page one two three or whatever based on that particular value and then return zero basically says run this and don't go any further so let's just check our syntax by clicking the check syntax button and the status line returns the fact that the status is correct and we now get an s next to the event which shows that we have a script assigned so let's just close down the event handler window for the moment saving it as we go out and you'll notice here on the quick event window as well we have against the click event here an S so that we can see that we've got a script against that when we're working in the properties window. So it's just OK out of there for the moment and OK out of the control properties window because if we go back to the help file and we can check here that on the vscroll event of the window we need to place that code as well. So let's just copy that. So let's just minimize that down. Now we are, have got the tab control selected here but this needs to be on the vscroll event for the window. So just click anywhere on the window to select it. Double click and make sure that you get the windows properties. Click on the events and we don't want to use activated. We want the V scroll event. So scroll down and there's the V scroll event there. Make sure that's highlighted in the top here. Then click our scripts button and control V the same way that we did before. So again, declare subroutine. So we're declaring this set property subroutine and then we're setting the property from the tab control We'll take the value and set the value um, for the for the vscroll event on the window. So once we're happy, we'll just check the syntax. Syntax is OK. Close down the window, save it on the way out, and we'll just click OK to these particular windows here. 
Now if we test run the window and we click on the second tab, we find it still doesn't move. Now why does it not move when we set the code? The reason why it doesn't is we need to go back into the tab control and we just need to look at the control properties window because the value that we're sending back is tab underscore one. Now we want to change that just to one and we want to change the second one to two. And also the text on this doesn't look very good either. For instance, uh, for the first one, we might want to have patient information, which is a bit long. So I'm just going to change that to uh, just information. You might want to put something a little bit more sensible. On tab number two, we've obviously got our comments. That one's fairly straightforward. And I'm going to introduce a third one in here for later on. And this is going to be consultations. And we'll change that value to three. If you just click through, it puts one in there automatically. Now I can also put bitmaps and I can change the styles and the visibles and auto sizing, etc. I'm not going to worry about that too much. But one of the things that I do want to do is to make sure that I've got the all pages button ticked because I want this tab control to display on all of the pages. And if I want to, I can go into the default value and select one so that when the form loads it automatically shows the first tab control that would make sense so if we now click OK and we test run the form yes we've now got some more um, interesting information at the top here and if I click on comments now it will jump to the second page that still looks a bit wrong um, we've got our comments and a, and a very large box so things are not actually displaying on the tab but if we click back onto the first tab then obviously we get this information Going to consultations, again, we're not actually jumping to a different page, and that's because we've only got two pages defined within the form. So let's just close that out and fix those issues. The first one's easy. We need to change this to number of pages three, and click OK. And if we now scroll down, I think probably the best idea is to grab a label control and just drop that onto there, and we'll say, this is page three because at the moment we haven't got any additional tr controls to put on there. I won't worry about the control label for now because we'll be uh, getting rid of that later on. So if we go back up to um, page two just by sliding up. Now we do use a slider in the um, development mode and what we need to do is we need to resize this control because it's far too big. We'll shift and click on comments to select both of those and we use the shift and down arrow just to move that onto the tab click on the window just to deselect and just resize this control until you're happy once you are we'll go back in and we'll test run again so yes we want to save our changes and this time when we move to the comments we now get quite a nice little window and consultations we get this is page three now you might want to remove this label because this is all comments and we've got the label at the top but hey wait we have still got a problem we've lost our information at the top here if we go back to number one our hospital number and our name when we click over we can't actually see who we're working on yes we could put it down in the status line if we wanted to but i think what will be easier is if we go back to the form go back to page one and then we click on each of these controls and we just set the all pages now the all pages property simply means that it, this control is going to show up on all pages of the um, of the window. So as we scroll through, we'll be able to see them. And then if we test run the form, saving our changes, this time we get the hospital number stays there and we can see exactly who we're working on.